Greetings fellow girls, guys and gaming fans, this is Small Archangel, welcome back to my corner of the Ark, which is currently Hidden Valley. Um, today's episode, I was planning on going uh, on a bit of an excursion to the frozen bit, uh, White Sky Peak, I believe it's called, uh, in a quest for oil, um, with my flyers, because we need oil uh, to, <coughs> to be able to advance in technology. Um, and make ourselves a fabricator and an industrial grill and everything. But, <coughs> excuse me, as you could probably tell, I'm not ever so well today. And so, rather than risk any of my dinosaurs uh, due to the fact that I'm not quite with it, I have decided to be a little bit more domestic. As you can see, I have done a little bit of work on the old homestead here. Uh, I have made a chicken run, basically. I've only got three dodos in it at the moment, and one of them's a boy. Hello, welcome uh, to Tristan there, uh, who I decided might make my other dodos lay a little bit more prolifically. I'm not quite sure, uh, but you can see I've laid a, a nice sort of wooden fence here, and that's pretty much what I'm planning on doing in the whole of our base area here to keep the dinos out. Because while I haven't noticed any really dangerous dinos around here, it's quite annoying to have a load of paras sort of sundering through and getting stuck on your own dinosaurs and things. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, now these guys here are kind of in the way at the moment, so I might just have to move them. Now that did not make any of them follow me, did it? No, I might just have to move them manually. <coughs> Apologies in advance if I do something like hack half to death during the video. This is why I'm planning on making this a relatively short video. I don't like to miss out, but at the same time, <laughs> I'm limited as to what I can do. Oh, looks like Tolino's actually leveled up here, so let's just deal with that while we're in here. He has, yeah, bless him. We're going to give him some more health. He's got so much meat, it's incredible. <coughs> here we go. <coughs> all right there we are i think oz is probably more or less oh look he's he's leveled as well this is fab let's see now this guy needs more weight carrying capacity oh what, what is with the hides and all this stuff that's a, yeah okay we'll get rid of those we don't need the spawn meat i've already got a ton of that and i think we'll just move violet as well she's nearly leveled up but not quite now what I am actually planning on doing is making some sort of dino enclosure perhaps in here. You can see I've kept this tree, I quite like it. Um, and this is more or less our garden now. Since the last episode I have made this nice terrace with a stone railing around it. Okay, it's not exactly, you know, uh, your Georgian manor house, but it's not bad for, you know, for, for living in a, a sort of a, a dinosaur sort of primitive world um, <clears throat> and in the absence of steps I have used stone slopes although there aren't stone wraps in the game there's only uh, the sloping stone roof which is what I've used however it is kind of limiting because the sloping stone roof will only uh, clip to uh, two sides of the stone foundation and it kind of does its own thing then so I've got this ramp going up in that direction and the ramp on the other side going in the opposite direction, but what the heck, I will not let my OCD uh, worry about that too much. However, it would be kind of nice if uh, if the, the devs would, uh, you know, give us some step options, or at least a stone ramp. <coughs> As you can see, the house itself has not really changed. I've still just got the one glass window. Uh, because basically we need to get some more resources for that. But as I say, I don't feel really <clears throat> up to going and doing that today. So the plan today is, of having moved all these dinos, what I want to do is make principally a wall. Most of them seem to come from over here. You see some of the parasaurs, oviraptors, who I can scare off quite easily. <laughs> not in the right direction however um, but I want to get a wall sort of more or less from where this rock is perhaps just behind it 
um, sort of across over here and I'm trying, you know, get these dinos on the appropriate side of it. So go away, Ovi. Go on, you stupid. Are you you're stuck, are you? Well, I'm not going to kill you just for that. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to do that. There. <coughs> You can see I've also got a little monkey friend in here. Uh, and then I've got another, I want to make another gateway here, but I do literally want to make those gateways. So we're probably going to have to make dino gateways. Now, I'm not sure if we can make metal ones at this point. Uh, I might just have to check. Uh, we haven't, I don't think, learned the egg room, but I've got a few egg room points going spare, as you can see. Just put those in there. So, <coughs> anger and points to apply 710. Yeah, a few spare. Uh, so, I'm going to scroll down because I would quite like. We've got a stone dinosaur gateway. And I have a feeling the metal ones are going to require me to, to learn the stone dino gateway. <coughs> and a reinforced dino gate, which requires a stone dino gateway. Oh, of course. But if we scroll down a bit further, we're getting into... Oh, you see, there's a behemoth gate. But we're going to want the behemoth gates for the entrances to Hidden Valley. Not actually on my uh, on my turf here. So, I think for the moment, what we'll do... We'll learn the Stone Dino Gateway. And the Reinforced Dino Gate. There we go. And they should be the same size as the ones we used in our last base uh, on the coast. Now, what I have put in here, I've made already... Here's some I made earlier. I've made a load of stone fence. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Stone fence foundation. Which, uh, just checking my girls haven't laid anything for me. Uh, the stone found fence foundation. Just because, yeah. Because we want to be able to, uh, in, in order to be able to put a fence or a wall or a gate or anything here. We're going to need that foundation. So, now... How big a dino gateway is exactly, I'm not quite sure. So we should probably make one. I can't quite judge it for there whether there's going to be space or not. I hope there is. <clears throat> but let's just see if we can make a stone uh, gateway. Let's see. Now I'll go in here because I've got, I've got some stuff in here. I haven't got that much stone in here actually. But stone gateway should be at the top, yes. Lots of stone wooden thatch. There's a surprise. Okay, well, we've got thatch in here. <coughs> and wood. But mostly it's going to need stone. Which is not surprising. Ah, I'm encumbered. There's a surprise. Okay, stone gateway. Let's make a stone dino gateway. And we'll see how big this thing is then. Okay. Now, am I over encumbered? No, I don't think I am. Let's put that there. All right, <clears throat> maybe we should do this side first because this side we do have more space. <clears throat> I'm going to have to stab you up the arse if you don't get off my turf. Okay, so if I press 6 now, oh, we can get an impression of how big that is. It might well fit on the other side then. Let's just go see. And it looks like we can just bung it down any old where, actually. So I won't necessarily need um, <clears throat> a foundation, you know, a sort of a, a, a fence foundation for this. However, it does not entirely fill the gap. That is why we really need the fence foundations, because <clears throat> if we don't have those, I'm guessing that the gateway is not going to entirely fill the gap there. Um, maybe we need to put the gateway back here a little bit, actually, because if we... I don't know. I want it down there, really, but uh, I'm not absolutely certain how to go about that. Let's just try this. Let's just try this. Okay, this is always tricky, because I can never quite judge um, a straight line. Or a more or less straight line, because I can't see into... I can't look back over my own shoulder. Okay, that says it's obstructed. Let's put that there. <clears throat> Seven. Let's. Can we just. Does, is that is that snapping on there? Yeah. Now it is. Okay. And let's do the same thing now. Yeah. That's done it. <clears throat> and one more should probably do it. There we go. Now let's see if we can place our 
dynamite weight on top of that. I'm not absolutely sure we can. Where is it? I can't even see it, all the flaming grass. <clears throat> okay, it's trying to snap very oddly there. I'm not sure if that's really going to work. It's trying to go on a diagonal. I'm fairly sure that this isn't very diagonal. So I'm not sure. That might have been a slight... F oh, no, it does go there, look. It goes there like that. Now, <clears throat> am I going to be able to... Oh, oh, or it could go there like that. I'm not sure where my fence is going to be able to fit, whether that's, whether there's a full lot of fence there, or if, does that clip to, yeah, that should work, actually, that should work, let's just try putting that kind of in the middle, okay, that's a little bit of a risk, but it's a calculated one, now for here, I've made a few walls and things, so we're going to go get those, <coughs> I've got some window frames and some stone walls, so let's just Oh, excuse me. A hello. Can't steer. Hello, little monkey. You're going to be locked in. Six. Now, is that going to be the right way round? Because this is the other thing that bugs me. Am I going to end up with a wall? Ah, it is. Perfect. Okay, now this is only going to be just like the one level for the moment. Uh, and that's okay. I don't mind that. Um, let's see. It's just to map it out, really. Uh, eventually, I will have these walls as high as the dino gate. That is the plan. But just wanted to know that that was going to work out okay, and it has done. Almost as if the devs wanted us to do it. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so they will be a lot higher than that. Uh, I might at some point add some sort of catwalk. Certainly to the opposite end, I will. I mean, here, we can quite easily just peer through a window there if we've got a window with a wall. Uh, <clears throat> but back at the other side of the ranch, I've got some more stone foundations to lay. And so we're going to get on and do that. We've got a blooming parasaur in here. I'm going to have to chuck him out before we're done. And again, we're back to trying to judge a straight line when you've got nothing to snap it onto. And we should start at this end, really, because I don't want... <coughs> excuse me. I don't want my... Yeah, I don't want my fence ending up where it can't actually... See, I can't see the end of that. Oh, heck. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. I just... Okay, I just made another wall. That's not the button I meant to press. I actually meant that one, didn't I? I told you I wasn't very with it today. This is why we're not risking the dinosaurs. Okay, can you snap onto there, please? Yes, no. Oh, there we go. Sometimes the grass really bugs me, because it just really gets in the way. And you can't see a thing. Oh, you stupid Fiomia, will you get your fat bum out of here? Oh, that was not what I meant. <clears throat> okay, so... Basically, any dinos that get stuck in here are going to come to a sticky end. They're going to get fed to my carnivores, I'm afraid. Which, at the present moment, is all of them. I might possibly tame the Fiomia. That might be quite a good thing to do from the point of view of dung for the gun. But I can't really be bothered with those mounts because they're dead slow. Okay, one more. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> Cool. Okay, so we're going to need a lot of walls there. I'm going to have to move ours, I think. Uh, am I? Actually, maybe not. <clears throat> okay, so I've got a wall there. Damn you. It's the wrong way around. I hate that. <clears throat> I really want my walls to be the other way around, but I'm not entirely sure if that's got something to do with... I'm just going to demolish it and try again. <coughs> okay, let's just see. If I put the wall in the, from the other side, will it place it the other way around? No, it won't. Flip it, heck. It must have been my, the way I placed my foundations. Well, do you know what? I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm really not. Fiomi, you're so in trouble, pal. You see, this is why it bugs me. Look at that. Straight through Violet. I mean, really? Okay. Chill. It's not worth the aggro. Anybody laid an egg? Chick, 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 chicken. Oh, hello, Tristan. 
We have yet to find him an Isolder. We're going to give you some more health. Because Dodo health's rubbish. And just in case anything gets in here to kill him. <coughs> which I'm planning they won't. Okay, here we go. It's my store box. We have no more walls in here. Do I have... I have some window walls, which is fine. And I've got some stone railings. But we really need to be able to make some more stone walls. So that's what I'm going to do now. Oh, we've got eight of them there, actually. That's cool. Have we got any more bits of... No, we've got eight of them there. That's awesome. Let's go place. Hello, little monkey. He's scared. Run away. I quite fancy a pet monkey. I'd have it in a house as a house pet. <clears throat> okay, here I do want to have some windows. So let me just put my window wall in there. And not walk into the bird. I honestly can't see the other end. I'm going to have to go from one end to the other, aren't I? Okay, well maybe we'll have... Oh, you see that is going to be... <coughs> yeah, I think that is... Yeah, they have obviously overlapped in a stupid kind of way that I didn't intend, which is really annoying. Okay, so we'll have a window here. And obviously the ground is not absolutely level. You know what, Parasaur? I'm going to punch you in the face and hope that you run in the opposite direction. Oh, you're dumb. Seriously. That's two of them clipping through my animals now. You're in such trouble, pal. Really. Okay, let's have another window here. And then I think probably two windows will do it. Oh, terrific. You see, that is what I was afraid of. Is obstructed. Now, I think the problem is that this just didn't place right. This foundation here <coughs> clearly didn't place right. So let's just demolish that. And let's see if we can place one properly. Uh, what is it? Seven? You stupid monkey. You're going to leg it as well. Okay, I wasn't sure if that had actually placed properly because I couldn't flip and see a thing. There. Now hopefully it has, but before I lock myself out... <laughs> oh, you know what I forgot? Mm, uh, the gate. You see, I, I told you I wasn't with it. Yeah, okay. We're going to have a gate in the middle of this, uh, which probably means probably means we're going to need <coughs> two of those destroyed. But let, before we do that, let's just... Hang on. Do, do I have the, the wherewithal to make... Well, probably not. I need more stuff. Just generally. So let's go make another gate for this side. Okay, here we go. And we'll have to make some reinforced dinosaur gates as well, of course. But I don't want to be carrying too much stuff around with me at this point. Because um, it's heavy. And it's very easy to get over-encumbered, even when you've done lots of, you know... Oh, well, the parasols managed to get out of here anyway. Even when you've spent lots of points uh, in weight capacity. Now, I need this... That probably. Uh huh. Yeah, we're gonna need two of these removing. That's fine. I thought we probably would. Yeah, we have to get rid of that first. Okay. There we are. <clears throat> Try that again now. There we go. Nice. There we are. And that's kind of what I meant. Okay, so the, le the walls aren't level. And obviously, we're gonna need more of them and that's fine it's a bit of a bummer that the walls are you know uh facing one direction but it's impossible when you lay the foundation to know which way it's going to be going really 
And it's quite difficult to know which side of the gateway is the right side as well. Or does it make a difference? It might not make a difference. I'm not sure. I think probably, <coughs> yeah, this is meant to be the inside of it. But without taking a whole flaming thing down again, I'm really not, you know, really not uh, down for that right now. Because uh, resources don't come cheap. So... <coughs> okay, so what we need to do now is make some dino gates. Um, pretty sure I've got <coughs> got the resources to do one of them, but we're going to need more than one of them. All right, so we'll go to this side first, <coughs> which is the correct way round. And there we go. Nice. And opens outwards, which is the way it should be, quite honestly. May as well leave that shut. That'll stop the little ones from getting in for the time being. It won't stop the big ones. Okay. And then we've got a gate for the other side. Do you know what? It is really going to bother me. That's the wrong way round. So I know me. I know I'm going to put that. They're all the right way round, which means I'm going to. I'm not going to put the door on right now. I'm going to put that in storage because. But you can see what we're doing here, at least. <clears throat> that is how it's going to work, and hopefully it's going to work the right flaming way round. So I'm going to put that there. We've got still some stone foundation, and we've got some stone railing as well. Now I'm probably going to want to make some more stone railing. What have I got on me that's encumbering me? Oh, just about everything. Okay. I'm going to need to make some more stone railing, but more stone foundation, rather. So let's just leave the railing in here for the minute. That is the problem. That's weighing us down. Uh, we'll make some more <coughs> foundation. So, we need some stone, we need some wood, we need some thatch, the usual suspects. Okay, stone fence foundation. How many can I make? Eight. Let's go for it. Let's do it. <clears throat> and then hopefully, I'm not going to be weighed down by the time I finish crafting that lot. Because I want to show you what the next phase is. Because obviously, I've got my dino gate there, but that is not going to keep out <clears throat> all the dinosaurs because they can quite easily just nip up this side by this tree. <clears throat> so we need to do something about this bit as well. <coughs> so, I'm going to basically continue a straight line from this rock. So I basically have to make sure I don't destroy this rock. I've made sure I haven't destroyed it for a very good reason. And I'm going to take a straight line, sort of, I don't know, I'd quite like this to be part of my territory here. Now, which end did I start at? The other end. So I figure if I do this and I start this way around, but I don't really want to start that way around because it means I have to stand on the edge of the damn cliff. It's just not very practicable. But if I start this way around, that should be the right way around to have our fence the right, well, the right way around. <coughs> so. Let's start with that there. Now, can we do anything to test whether that... Probably not, to be honest, but that's going to be a wall there anyway. It's not going to be... Uh, that is going to be a wall like it is the other side. I probably have to start all over again here. <coughs> because this is up a step. And we'll do that from sort of here. Very good. And this is where I have to be careful not to fall off the flipping cliff. Actually, no. One more than that. So this is probably going to not be finished in this episode. I didn't think it would be. It's a big job, you know. So I'm probably going to have <coughs> a wall here because it's so, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, it needs a taller defence there. I have had the old Carno here, and while my dinosaurs could deal with them very nicely, I don't take kindly to my Carnosaurs, uh, my dinosaurs being completely relocated. Uh, and ultimately, I, I guess what I'll do is put a fence along the front of here as well, or maybe not. I'm not, I, you know, I quite like my uh, view not being impeded. Hello, Fiomia. You're, you're still, still in trouble, pal. 
You're locked in now, pretty much. Unless you can find your way through the gate. <clears throat> okay, so. We'll have these stone railings now. You're encumbered. Oh yeah, of course, I'm carrying too much stuff. Let's just put some stuff away. <coughs> and it's night time as well. Tough. I'm going to keep going. I have a torch. Not afraid of the dark. Okay, so. That's going to be wall there. At least I hope so. And here. <coughs> we've got stone railing just like we had. around our terrace <coughs> and this is more like I don't know it's more to stop sort of player characters from f accidentally falling off stuff than it is to stop you know actual dinosaurs from invading your territory so I think we definitely need a wall uh, from there on in in fact I think we probably need a wall here <coughs> You're hot. Yes, the problem is, uh, I'm holding a torch. And this is quite a warm area. <clears throat> so I tend to sort of walk around at night without a torch, which is uh, a little bit strange. Okay, so I'm going to put my stone railings back in there for the time being. And the fence foundation, <clears throat> just because we can't carry all this stuff. And then we're going to make some more walls. Still no eggs, ladies. Shame on you. Quite honestly, some sort of idiot-proof fence here would come in really handy right about now. See, that is right way round now. But that is so hard to guess. It is so hard to guess. But I am absolutely going to, you know, um, redo the whole of that wall. I, it's probably probably stupid. It's probably pointless, but I am going to do it. Right, we'll have a window there as well. Why not? I want to be able to see out. What can I say? Uh, do we have one more? Perfect, except it's not quite, is it? Because that's not going to join up at all or keep anything out, quite frankly. So I don't know really uh, what to do there. That hasn't worked out ever so well. So I might just have to remove this and see if I can do better than that. Because <coughs> the idea is not to leave a massive hole, if at all possible. Okay, so that is the story so far. Obviously, there is a long way to go. Um, see, we obviously can clip walls through each other in a or slightly unsightly way, but uh, hopefully, yes, hopefully I won't need to do that <laughs> here. Hopefully I'll be able to do that here, but it's, that, it's just that change in level, really, that's the problem. But if I can get a foundation to go right to there. Oh, an egg. Thank you so much, Daphnis. I think that was Daphnis. Where the... Can I pick it up, please? No! <laughs> Oh, so difficult to type. <clears throat> oh, and she's level two. More health, my dear. Okay, obviously I can just leap over this fence. It'll be the same for my stone ones as well. I'll be able to just leap over them, but really, I want to make sure that the dinos can't, so. <coughs> okay, seven. Let's see. Now, if I do it this way, that'll be the right way around. That's, that's right, isn't it? I can't see a flaming thing, of course. If I do that, now that is obviously, but it would be the wrong way around, surely. I don't know, and I don't care. I'm not going to be able to really do anything about that, am I? Realistically? Not really. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> no, it is the right way around. That's excellent. Well, can I put another one on the end of that, then? I can't really see. <clears throat> Yay. Now, could I just shove a wall in there nice that's exactly what I wanted okay I'm pleased with that that works that's nice <coughs> we can incorporate that boulder among our defenses I don't think that dinos can just run over it from the other side if they can I might have to replan but <laughs> rethink but I don't think so it's not that kind of rock is it really that would have to be a big ass dino that could get over that rock and if they could get over that rock they could probably get over my walls or just chew their way through them 
and that would be that anyway. So there we go. Okay, so darkness has fallen, which means it's probably time to finish this episode. And there we go, there's our dino defences so far. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to, when this place is more or less finished, I'm going to have to check it out from the air, uh, just so that you guys can see, uh, and so I can see <laughs> what it looks like. Maybe from the top of the valley, uh, or, or just from an aerial point of view. But I am hoping that we will have distinctly less or even no dinosaurs in here. I'm hoping none will actually spawn straight in because that would be annoying having put, gone to all this effort. I'm glad I kept that tree and uh, further projects for here I guess maybe a greenhouse but definitely you know some more windows in the old house first. <coughs> the house isn't quite finished uh, we've got all sorts of things to do like electricity and what have you as well so as I say in the next episode I hope that we'll be going uh, on that mission to get some oil because it is needed quite frankly and uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode if you do did uh, I can't speak English if you did you know what to do uh, hit that like button and uh, give me any comments you like any you know sort of uh, uh, suggestions any tips if anybody knows how to get the flipping walls the right way round I would be very grateful to uh, hear any tips on that because it does bug me. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, keep gaming, keep surviving, stay happy. Bye bye for now.